Good day and welcome to another Micrographics vlog. We are an Autodesk partner and reseller. My name is Sean Bauer and I will be presenting this vlog today, 18 June 2025. I am an applications engineer and an Autodesk AECO technical consultant with Micrographics. And today's topic is importing, scaling and tracing a floor plan from PDF in Revit 2026. If you find this vlog to be informative, please like this video and sub subscribe to our channel for future vlogs. In this vlog, I'm showing you a super useful workflow in Revit 2026, how to import a PDF floor plan, scale it precisely using a known dimension. In my case, I will use a single door at 900 millimeters and trace over it to create a proper Revit model. This is ideal for those times when you've got um, a scanned floor plan or PDF from a client or consultant and you need to start modeling in Revit from that reference. So I will go to the Insert tab, Import, go look for my image, my PDF, change the resolution so I can see slightly better, clearer image, place my PDF, I select my PDF and I will scale it with the scale command or you can type RE for shortcut. Go to my known dimension, which is my door. Currently it's at 2100 and I'm scaling it down to 900. I like to pin my PDF so I don't accidentally move it whilst I'm busy tracing over it. Let's just Make sure it is 900 millimeters for the door width and we can start modeling. I will start with my wall so I have a framework to work with. Choose the correct wall size or create your own wall size and start tracing your floor plan. Adjust your walls, make sure they align properly. I prefer using my wireframe so I can make sure that I overlay my drawing, my Revit elements onto the PDF. It's correctly aligned. Continue adding your walls and then start adding the additional elements. First, I will focus on the doors so that we have our framework correct. I uh, prefer using my, my spacebar for flip control when placing doors and elements. And now you can start populating your drawing with all the components. Most of the components I have, I downloaded from the Insert tab, the Autodesk uh, library that is available.
And so once all your components have been placed, finalize your detailing. I'm adding a, a glass panel railing at, at, on my balcony, making sure it aligns and plugs to my walls. And there you have your floor plan traced. Fairly quickly, you're able to create a 3D model from your PDF import, making sure you scale it properly, aligned all your elements correctly, added all your components, giving them the direct, correct elevation from the level height for different components at different levels. And in a matter of a few minutes, you have a layout and a 3D ready for presentation. With the Revit 2026 improved PDF import, where you can add your resolution and your scaling becomes easier, you can scale this to precision with the reference. It is quick and reliable. It is the perfect way to start modeling when all you've got is a floor plan image. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us here at Micrographics. I hope you found this vlog to be informative. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to like and hit that notification bell for future vlogs. Thank you again and goodbye.